Hi, welcome to your weekly weather report. I'm Doc Robin. If you are new to my world, welcome. Please say hello in the comments so I can say hi back. And if you've been around for a while, I'm so glad that you are part of my community, the Actualization Zone on Facebook. That's where you can find us. If you're not a member yet, head on over there to do that. And today is our weekly weather report. It is a new month. It's one of my favorite months, actually, August. I was reflecting on that. I love, I love numbers, first of all. And I love triple numbers, quad numbers. And one of my favorite days of the year is August 8th, 8-8. Eight, eight. I remember my aunt and uncle got married on 8-8, eight, eight, 1988. That had to have been an auspicious day. So that's coming up this month. But on this weather report, what you can expect is that this isn't this isn't a horoscope or anything like that. Um, I am a psychologist by training, but I've been a clear channel my whole life. I'm intuitive and I read energy quite well. So what I do for this community is I tune into the energies that are available to us this week. And actually, as I'm sitting here, um, kind of tuning in already. It's kind of the energies for the entire month. So that's what we're going to do today. I use tarot and oracle cards usually to get us started. And then I just channel what comes through as a result of the, the prompts from the, the cards. This week, we're using Colette Baron Reed's Crystal Spirits cards. Is anyone else a big fan of crystals? I have a friend who says she's one intervention or one crystal away from an intervention. I think I'm getting close to that as well. I love crystals, always have. Hey, and before we get started, if you don't know, the Actualization Accelerator is happening this month. We actually kick off today at 3 p.m. Pacific. You're welcome to join us. This is a 30-day container where you focus on reigniting some of your most deeply held dreams, goals, and desires, some of which you've probably set the intention at the beginning of the year and then got distracted or um, had other priorities come forward, but this is a time, August especially, is a time to really reconnect in with those heart's desires and to start actualizing them, bringing them into your reality. So if you'd like to join us for that, there's still time to do that. We'll drop the link to the enrollment page in the comments so that you can have a look and join us. It's going to be wonderful. This is for intuitive and intelligent leaders who are lifelong learners who want to learn a new method. This is a method of actualization that I've developed over the past 22 years as I've been doing my, my work. It started almost immediately after I had my spiritual awakening. I started getting this information on how to create the life that was part of my heart's desire. And I've used this method for me, for my private clients to create everything from getting into my PhD program that I wanted, getting into my postdoc program that I wanted, getting the first, the best job for an early career psychologist right out of my PhD program, and then helping my clients to do the same, land their dream clients, make the leap out of corporate and into their consulting and coaching space, land C-level positions, all kinds of things happen as a result of this wonderful method that has been given to us. And that's what I'm going to be sharing this month. So if that interests you, if that makes you feel curious, I would encourage you to head over to the enrollment link and get yourself enrolled. It's going to be a big rocket ship this month. So let's go ahead and dive in to the cards today. First one is Chrysocola. These don't have any prompts on them. Let's see. Carnelian, that's grounding. Chrysocolla is a water stone. Numite, I'll show them to you in just a second. And then the overriding uh, card this week, energy this week is blue. Chel Sedany, I think. Blue, I'll put it up there so we can see. All right, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and Take a breath in and let it go. I just want to take a peek here at these couple of prompts so that I can kind of get us tuned in. Okay. 
So we're going to start with this one, this blue chalcedony, this one right here that I just brought up. This is the one that is kind of the overriding energy of the month. And the essential meaning of, of the card is to slow down, slow down. And it's interesting because this is Leo season, astrologically. It's Leo is about fire and it's about reigniting things. And yet this card, this energy that's available to us right now is to slow down. Why do you want to slow down? Well, I think that at least in the circles that I am familiar with, we want things in an instant kind of way. We want instant gratification. Um, I'm a generator. And so when I have an idea or a vision in my mind's eye, I automatically think that it should materialize immediately. That just is how my brain functions. And when it doesn't, you know, like I dream of genie style, you know, you blink your eyes and then all of a sudden you've got the thing that you envisioned. Um, we operate in the energies of the third dimension, and that's always a little bit slower than what we see in our mind's eyes. So the invitation here this week is to slow down, but I don't mean to lag. It doesn't mean to drag. It doesn't mean to stay in one place. It doesn't mean to be sloth-like and sit on the couch and eat bonbons and watch Netflix. What I think it means for us is to go moment to moment, step by step, to be in the present moment. And this is why it's important this month, especially if you are refocusing on actualizing some of your heart's desires is that the only place that we can actually manifest anything is in the present moment. When our attention is split, worried about the past, thinking about the future, the what ifs, drifting away into, you know, the ethers where nothing necessarily is going on, daydreaming, whatever it is, we're not in the present moment. We're not physically present with our bodies. And our bodies are our partners in this creative process. So we have to be present in order for whatever it is that we desire to start coming through. So to me, this particular stone is just about being present. Just be present. Just be present. Then we have carnelian. And carnelian is a earth stone. I'll show you a picture in a second. Here's your carnelian. And carnelian has to do with increasing confidence, having dignity, poise, and self-assurance. So when we look at that energy of confidence in the context of slowing down, of being present, what we're looking at <clears throat> is invoking our royalty as expert, masterful co-creators of our lives. So when you enter into this month with poise, with confidence, and you step forward into every moment with poise and confidence, you create ripples in the field around you. And you begin to magnetize those heart's desires, those things that you want to do to be and to have in your direction. And even if you can't see them forming, even if you, there's no evidence yet, it's the confidence to have faith in your creative capacity. It's a confidence to have faith that the universe, that God is conspiring to collaborate with you, to meet you in the field, and to bring forward that which you most desire. So poise, confidence, focus, discipline, all of these frequencies are what's going to reignite and re-energize you to your most deeply held goals and dreams. Summertime, it's easy to get distracted for sure, 100%. Summertime, it's easy to kind of get into the midsummer lag. It's hot here in the, at least where I am, in, in the desert. It's easy to just want to just hang out and be, and there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, earlier this year, I talked about creating a golden summer. You know, the summer that your favorite summer from when you were a kid, not recreating it, but creating the adult version of that for you. 
But if we're not mindful of how we're spending our time and where we're focusing our attention and our energies, my goodness, we can get distracted. And our daydreams can take us to places that have nothing at all to do with what our mission is and what we're here to do. We can be restful and we can be focused. We can enjoy our summer and we can still move the needle on the things that are most important to our mission. Chris Acola This is about Here's your Chris Acola for today. Chris Acola is about speaking your tr truth, heartfelt communication and right speech. So this is all throat chakra. This is expression. Telling the truth. You can tell the truth without being brutal. Florence Scovel Shin is one of the wonderful metaphysicians from the early 20th century. She's one of my favorites. And one of the things, the book she wrote actually is called Your Word is Your Wand. And so we activate the energetics around Chrysocolla, the around expression, to remind ourselves that our words are our wands. That what we speak, what we say aloud, takes form. And when what we say aloud rides on the energy of confidence, of poise, of being in the present moment, this is what actually collapses the timeline between where you are and the version of yourself who's experiencing the things that you most want to do to be and to have. Your word is your wand. Remember that. So if you find yourself clearing your throat, if you find yourself just wanting to spend some time writing, speaking, saying aloud the things that you're thinking, it'll make you a much more effective manifester. Say, say it out loud. Speak the truth. Speak the truth. Remember, I learned this one time from a teacher. She said, being nice is manipulative. You can speak the truth in love. Try it out. See what happens this month with speaking your truth. All right. And last card. I feel like I want to pull a different card. Moldavite. That's our last card today, Moldavite. Let's see what's going on with Moldavite. I haven't used this card deck before, obviously. At least in this capacity, I have used it, but just not in this capacity. Um, oh, so cool. Moldavite represents transformation. So again, we're on a big transformation journey this month, but it's not, you know, I think sometimes we think about transformation in terms of the big, the big shifts, but having your train picked up and put on a completely different track, reinventing your life, doing all of these big things. But what I want us to think about this week, this week especially, is what are the small things? What are the little tweaks that I can make to my life that are going to then amplify into major transformations? That my life doesn't even need to look the same 30 days from now that it does today. What are small things that I can do? How can I hold myself in my chair that might be slightly different than what I've done in the past? How can I set up my office space to bring in new life, new creativity, new ideas? How can I show up in my, in my business or in my job in a way that expands my influence, helps more people, makes the world a better place? How can I do that? Not with big things but with little things. So the small shifts are going to make the biggest difference this month. Small shifts, big differences. That's the major theme this month. Be present. Be confident. Say what you think. Say what your heart thinks. And make the shifts. Make the shifts to start transforming yourself into the version of yourself who already has the things that you want to do to be and to have. That's my message for you this week. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Dr. Robin McKay. If you're not a member yet of the Actualization Zone on Facebook, just head over there, head over to Facebook, type into the search bar, 
actualization zone and we'll pop right up. You're welcome to join us. And if you want 30 days of my support in a really hyper-focused container to reignite your goals, then join the actualization accelerator that starts today. The link is in the comments. See you next week.